uh, even though there are shortcomings in certain areas, uh, there is a a brilliance in this generation that wasn't in the previous generation. So you just said to yourself, you mentioned the word highlight reel. Mm -hmm. uh, do people not understand this is a highlight reel or are they internalizing what they're seeing as if it's real? I think it's both for sure. Cause like, even when I say highlight reel, I don't really have that in mind when I'm looking, I'm like, damn, that's harder than mine. I'm not thinking that like, I'm just not thinking that because I think it's presented so flawlessly and so perfectly. You're just almost like immersed in this illusion. You know what I mean? Um, and it's in the palm of your hand. And, uh, you mentioned brainwashing earlier. Uh, For sure. will you, can you elaborate on that, please? For sure. Um, I think it has a lot to do with the highlight reel. But I think now more than ever, honest opinions are definitely discouraged, um, positive or negative. And I think because of that, sometimes people just get caught up in whatever the group is saying. All right, why do you say honest opinions are discouraged? Cancel culture, right. you know? Um, I don't say anything on social media, yeah. you know? Um, <laughs> 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 I don't say anything um, because it's like, you know, we could be having a conversation about whatever we're talking about. And in our world, it makes sense and it's fun and it's peaceful and it's love. But depending on how you might hear it, someone really, really, really might be hurt by that. And I wouldn't even want to hurt anybody's feelings. So like, that's why I don't say anything. But the Internet is just it's a living thing. So I think that's what it comes down to. The Internet is on this generation all right so i'm, I'm glad you're here right mm. and you're talking on behalf of your generation mm. how does that make you feel when you're constantly not being true to yourself because you said you don't you don't want to make a negative or a positive comment but you have all these things inside right and i i, I, I take it when you do interact it's not your true self because you, you don't want to offend anyone right so what does that do internally or has anyone in you have, have, have you and your peers spoken about Mm. what that does internally or have you reflected on what that does to you internally mm. when you're not being your true self? For sure. No, I spoke about it with a couple, um, I would just say creators. And um, the only way I can do it is if I disassociate, like this is a tool. This is a app on my phone. I do something with my thumbs and then I go do what I actually do in real life, which is make art and show love, you know what I mean? Um, keeping that separate for me keeps me where I need to be at. Um, now, some people understand that with it being a tool, if you sprinkle a little bit more of this, the tool might give you more reward. And then I started to realize, like, what does that actually mean, right? If you have 100,000 followers, what does this actually mean in your life? Yeah, so uh, I'm glad you, you, you spoke on that. I think there's a a misunderstanding between, especially for a creative person or a business person, followers and transactions, followers and sales. There's no connection at all. And you can be doing very well with two followers yeah. and you just have a good clientele of what you're doing. Absolutely. Please speak on that because I know you experienced that, bro. A hundred percent. I mean, it's a little different for me because as a painter, I would say a fine arts painter, I have roughly 10K followers, right? Out of those 10K, how many of them do you think can afford one of my paintings, right? And on top of that is looking to buy while I have it you're looking at maybe like 10 to 15 people. You know what I mean? So it's like at that point, this is just a machine that'll hopefully bring something else and something like this, you know what I mean? Like it's a tool to like connect, but outside of that, it has nothing to do, especially with the money I'm getting. So <laughs> that's the last thing it has to do with. So yeah. I, yeah, I think, um, yeah, I just think that's the, that's the deception everybody's kind of running with, you know? And I get it, because yeah. I feel like if you don't have it, you're looking at it like it's some big thing, because you don't have it. And then once you get it, you're like, oh, this doesn't mean anything. This, I don't feel any different. This is, this is nothing. These people might not even be real or looking at me, you know? 
Ça y est. Fais chier.